Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play uh, EU4 Europa Universalis 4. I am your host, the Black Jade Falcon, otherwise known as Richard, and we are playing as the United States. We started off right after winning their independence from Great Britain, and we have manifested our destiny all the way over to the Pacific. The last war, we took out British Columbia right here. We have the remnants of Newfoundland, which... Uh, the episode or two before that, we conquered all over here. And we are huge. We have also conquered all of Spanish Louisiana, which was this little strip, and all of Spanish Florida, and rightly pissed everybody else off. So I'm happy. We've also rubbed out a few of the native tribes, especially right here in the Midwest. And right now we are allies with these three little guys. However, I am not sure how long that is going to last, especially with the Shoshone. They do not like me very much. So I might invade them, and I might do it this episode. So let's bring him down. And we'll go from there. All right, so we got an advisor slot. Trade efficiency. Eh. I don't really care. How are you guys doing? Not too great. How about you? For defense, land maintenance, discipline would be awesome. But, eh. We pretty much got this. So move him in. We do have a few forts here and there. We don't really need many. Speaking of, let's look at devastation in this area. That one is irrelevant, so we're going to toss it. Instead, I'm going to put in something else, but we need money to do that first. So we just converted some uh, provinces to our culture, which is a very good thing. Let's change that back. Okay. Anything we can quick convert? Nope. But we are going to put in a few of these. Because, <laughs> wow. Oh, that's some good looking money. Okay. Versus our 40s that we have. And definitely our 33s. We got 140 here, so probably put that in soon enough and I'm going to also put it in this one which we will get to so well hang on here that's not the button I wanted I wanted this button come here thank you okay anything cheap not really uh, these aren't that great for right now Okay, hello. Come, my mighty growing navy. So what we're doing, uh, in case you haven't, uh, in case you didn't get the last one, is we are building up a navy of, uh, where it says 16, we need 45. And we're growing that. Thing is, it takes a while. So I built a, so I built a few shipyards down here in order to beef up our navy. What we're going to use this for is invading the Bahamas, Cuba, Hispaniola, San Juan, Jamaica, etc. Okay? It's going to take a while. And we are going to need support ships to guard these. They're probably about 10 each. So how are we coming along here? Doing okay. Uh, we're gonna need more though. Oh goody! That makes me happy. Okay, and you, great frigate. Six more in the queue. Schnell. All right, and I really don't care about the mercenary corps, but it gets us more stuff of what we need, garrison size, and expanded supply trains, which is going to make attrition a lot better, especially when we uh, invade 
Europe over here and probably conquer Southern Ireland. Just so that we can gain a foothold in the Isles, then we will use the Isles to invade the mainland. And then from the mainland, everywhere. Mwahaha. So, listen, fellas. I understand you don't like me, but you know what? Uh, I'm revoking my guarantee. And on December 13th of 1865, I'm also going to dissolve our little alliance. Because I don't really like you that much. You don't trust me, so I'm just going to conquer you. Okay. Hmm. That's okay. So let's come into here. And let's build this one. Now the reason why these are so high is because we have plantations. So it's going to, they generate more money and then you build a county house on top of it and that generates even more money. Which makes us outrageously rich. And I like that. Money is the root of all evil. No, that's wrong. Okay, cast this belly. All right, down to 10. Much better. This guy is just about ready to pop. Now, when we invade Europe, converting will actually be a little bit faster. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> they are not happy with me. So let's dissolve this little alliance we've got. Because, you know, if you don't trust me, I don't like you. So I can, in, I can attack the Shoshone in 1871. We have a while. <laughs> All right, so in that case, let's pop up here and let's go have a little chit chat with the remnants of what would have become Canada. Oops. It's getting a little chilly there. In Yakima. Actually, uh, well, yeah, I'll put him in there. That's fine. Put him in Spokane. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, hurry it up. Get up there. Up, 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 up. Come on, quick like a bunny. Oh, absent merchant. I'll toss the diplomatics that I don't need. Okay, and can we convert? Why, yes, we can. Boy, howdy, can we.
like this as much as we can. See, you can only do this after they have accepted your rule. And that sometimes takes a while. All right, looks like we'll be able to do it. Excellent. Okay, so guess what, dude? I'm going to invade you. It's gonna be a quick little war. You'll barely feel it. And confirm. Come on, hurry it up. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, not until July. Come on. Four, three, two, one, ding. Take the whole thing. All right. That should be quick and easy. That'll take out the Shoshone. And my fleet continues to grow. have deserted. Come on. Hurry it up. There's my guy. Looks a bit ragtag, doesn't he? Yep. European ones look very different. Go. Cool. All these. We are at 23 of 45. We have a while. Okay, last one was a desertion. Now, the six needs to get to a 15 at most. Every now and again the game will glitch and it won't let it happen. They just refuse, basically. But eventually they always do. Now, if we breach the walls, this will light up, and then I can attack. For those of you who don't know the system very well. Hey, look, a water shortage. Now you want everything except for status quo or disease outbreak. All of which are bad, because they don't move it along. Okay, and here's the bit. Okay, supply shortage is good, but not great. Uh, Defender's Desert is, is good, but it doesn't move it along very quick, but it does make, in case you do break the walls, a little bit easier to take the defenses. Water shortage, good as it gets, baby. Okay, let's see what happens here. Yes, sir. And I want your money. Come on. Hurry it up. Excellent. Thank you. Let's have you pop back down to here. We are going to go ahead and core that. Okay. And convert you.
Ah, coming along nicely. He's getting pretty close to done, actually. Now, I have played a few maps, like I played as Japan, and in history, the Portuguese. And the Dutch, I believe, did send missionaries to Japan and start converting people to Catholicism. Well, the Japanese government did not like that. So, uh, had some issues with it. What happened was Japan actually outlawed Christianity to come all, all outright and forced anybody who was practicing Christianity into the underground. Well, that's uh, not really a good idea. <laughs> because it still flourishes. Now, in the Japan that I played, uh, I was having a hell of a time controlling the spread of Christianity, so I just said, eh, I'll let it happen. It's fine. And I converted the entire country to Catholic. We actually got pretty powerful until the map updated, and until the game updated and crashed my map. Very annoying. Okay, let's keep going. Let's check the devastation map. All right. Skogie looking good. Pretty much nothing there. Bloxy's right behind you. So is Kukaloosa. And yeah. Excellent. Let's go ahead and unify. And unify. Now at 24. Excellent. Okay, you guys are 2.8 points. Eh, pretty low. Because I kind of stalled along in here. That's okay. Wapas. That's uh, gonna be probably some of the worst of it. Yeah, cruising right along. Okay. I like that. All right. Culture conversions are moving along. We got a lot of them to worry about. You want to do it because. It will improve uh, the mood of your citizenry and lower the chance of rebellions from people that you have conquered. If they are you, then they can't possibly rebel. So it makes fomenting a rebellion much more difficult. Thing is, you can only do it after they've accepted rule. Eh, what do you do? Okay. That is Alaska. They are British. Yeah, fair amount of money on it, too. Okay. Hooray, good for them. Austria. So, we've got some money now. Let's come over here. And we're going to build one in Tuskegee. We're going to build one in Mobile. And I'll let that go. Oh, good. That grew. Brand new ships. I'd say we are just about ready. Mm -hmm. How are we anyway on shipbuilding? Hey, we're getting there. We need a lot more than what we got, I'll tell you that. We got 26, and we need 45. We have eight of these in production. That only gets us to 34. I'm off by 10. Oops. That's okay. 
So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I miscounted. I apologize. It's okay. Not that big of a deal. Nobody died. And that's what's important. So, how are you guys feeling? You doing good? So, vassalizations and new. Yeah, I got a lot better tech than you do, Pally. Okay. Ah. You're feeling scared, are you? Well, that's okay. Tell you what. Got a guarantee. You know, I was really, really hoping. Quest their land. And let's completely open our borders for each other, huh? Thank you. See, guys, you know, we'll be okay. Have some border friction, but that's all right. They are willing to trust us a little. And they are a rival of... They are not friends. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Vote guarantee. Confirm. That'll make them happier. And then in October, 20th of October, I'll go ahead and dissolve the alliance, which will make them a lot happier. All right, can we not quite get there? So, oh, Chinook. Got any friends, dude? No, not really. Alright, and... Confirm. Here we go. That'll be pretty... That'll be a pretty quick war. By the by, Arapaho, we're no longer friends. So, what are you guys thinking now, huh? Huh? Come on, fellas. I'm a nice guy once you get to know me. Proof relation. Thank you. Not quite yet. Need a couple more days. Also, none to send. Uh, where are we? One day. There it goes. And I want this one. We've got a while. Also, all of your money. <laughs> that puts us into Oregon. Come on, I'm nice. Usually. I'm coming. It's at wow, they actually have a fort. Good for them. This might take a little bit longer, but we'll see. Okay, can we convert anything? No, but stuff is converting. Pigon is almost done. And we're almost ready to start building other stuff.
Uh, we'll keep that around for right now. Uh, siege faster. Come on, bust some walls. Fine. At least they're deserting. At war with the Pawnee. Really? You know, you guys, call me for help. I will come help you. Also take your enemy's territory away. Well, that's what I do. Okay. Come on, almost done. Ugh, you're taking forever. Go, and you send. Okay. <laughs> And merge. Gets us to 29. Excellent. We'll be able to invade soon. So this will probably be it. Seriously? God, you guys are taking forever. Capitulate already. Surrender. Command you. Did I? Hmm. Do that. Come on. Here we go. Welcome to my empire. Come on in. The water's fine. Core that. Okay. Now the culture that we desire. Good. Very, very good. Uh, war with your Apaho. The Shawnee and Pawnee. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. What we have here. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, I'll probably upgrade those. Okay. Coming up on the end here. How are we doing? 1871. Got a while. Well, we wiped out one little nation right here. Well, guys, been a pleasure playing for you. I'll let this war play out as the uh, as I say goodbye to you. So I'll be back next time. We will most likely declare war on the Shoshone, possibly even in the Arapaho. But until then, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Come on, you know how YouTube works. 
and I will continue bringing you fantastic uh, grand strategy games and various other games just like this one. Till then, I'll see you later.